Hello, McWarriors. How is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tag. We are still in the early game, guys, and we are here for a good, I would say, medium fight. So we are going to repair our whackers. One of them is down 14 days. Oh, that thing got hit hard. But I also want to take a look at what we can... Uh, we're gonna manipulate the game, gives us a bit morale. Uh, we're also gonna take a look at what we can upgrade, because we got some interesting stuff the last time, question mark. I cannot really remember, so we gotta take a look again. Uh, also, nothing is being built right now on our Argo. Hmm, we probably wanna change that, right? Third make bay? 1.3 million. We could almost afford it. Habitat parts? Getting training modules 2 out is also pretty good. But man, I want the third mech bay so bad. So, so bad. Um, Sure, here's what we do. We're gonna wait. The Hermes is gonna come online as well. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, and then we're gonna take a look at what we can do. Visla is out of action for a while. So, here's the thing. We technically have a bunch of mechs that we can bring to the battlefield. What we need to do is we need to fix the Kintaro and see if we can get something done there. We have a pirate SRM-6. Which is maybe just good enough. Get that thing in. It's technically... Uh, it's an SRM-7 or let's say SRM-8 even because it deals a bit more damage. Has a recoil, has a jam chance. Not great, but it is something that we can drop on our enemies. Okay, so we have half a ton of ammo here. Like, wait, what? Two and a half tons. Should we, sh should we swap one of them? That's my question that I have right now. We have a slug and an inferno bin. Oh, acid as well. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. All right, that answers the question, I would say. Let's go. Uh, we have... Ooh, hold up. We even have more options. Give it an inferno bin as well. Yeah, this guy's good now. I mean, we want more of these SRMs. I think all SRM6s drop the large poles and just make it medium lasers or so, and we have a nice brawler. But yeah, I think this is gonna be the mech that we're gonna bring to the battlefield once more, and uh, we're gonna see where this is going. All right, the X6 is down. That was the medium laser MRM1. Okay, uh, one more check before we go in. Obviously, we wanna see if we can upgrade a little bit of gun. Uh, let's get tactics first, cause no sensors are no joke, and I don't want them anymore. What's your deal, buddy? What is your deal? You are escapist? Why are you escapist? I don't know. Bit of gunnery is gonna be helpful. We have Lefay. Lefay wants the good old. Let me see. Military, naive, cautious, honest. Uh is it is it is it cautious here again for a bit of uh, stability reduction? I think the answer is yes. Also, give her guts. Let's go. There we go. All right. Then Terra Bird. Terra Bird is fine. Yukiana. I think it is maybe time to bring her to the table. She's really good. All right, then. Let's go ahead and play a mission. I want to play for Marik. This is an escort. Could do it. Could actually do it. Target acquisition. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. No, that's not a thing we do. I think Escort 3 Skull is totally doable because we also get some friends that we can control and shoot and, you know, use as meat shields and so on. Also, massive salvage. Yes, I know. It's against the pirates again. And by the way, I didn't even check. I didn't even check my, my build opportunities here. <laughs> All right, Yukiana, get in there. Everybody else is fine. Well, you are able to run battle armor as well, huh? Mr. Dragon 66. But look at Yuki. Look at Yuki. She has... Such a good stat line here. Ex-military, she's brave, she's assassin. I love that. All right, everybody else, buckle up. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, here we go. One and a half against three. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. All right, we have a plain open map and we are playing Escort. We also have a blocking force here. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, destroy the blockade and uh, help our friends out. Drop here, right in the middle, and then we're gonna go. This is gonna be a little bit of a problem, I believe, because, again, the lack of cover is gonna be tricky. But we get some friends to help us out. A light LRM carrier with triple LRM-10 and a striker. That's good. We also got another striker. So lots of long-range missile support. Love it. I do love it. We have a Wacker, we have a Raven, we have a Harasser, and we got a Firestarter. 
So harassers are easy, they are very lightly armored. I should probably try to get this guy down as quickly as possible. Hermes, go ahead and brace. You can just stay in the back line, you got the ER large lasers, no big deal. Wait, oh, they got a support lance as well, so Mantis, light carrier. Uh-oh, alright, there's more. There is more. Move for four would be great. Yeah, I'll take the three then. The water is slowing us down. Alright. I think our Brawler is going to have a bit of a problem. So the fire starter is jumpy at the very least, so it can go wherever it wants to go. There we go. Um, but my friend, the Kintaro, is probably suffering here with the, with the mobility. Striker. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. So, searchlight on, I guess? Let's go. There's a, there's a big ball of light in the head of our Kintaro, probably attracting a lot of fire. There's another tank up there. Oh boy. Striker. Coming in. Arasa. These have only like two medium lasers or like two SRM2s or something. Nothing to be really afraid of. But they are fast and, uh, you know, they can absorb a lot of fire by dodging it. Want to see what that is. Another striker. Another LRM15. Ay, ay, ay. So, the amount of damage on the battlefield is kind of nasty. We gotta destroy that as quickly as possible. Here we go. Chronic Toast. ER Large Laser. This is where we start sprinting. Go in. Take the carrier. Thunderbolt 10 carrier. One hit. Uh-huh. We got the Ultra 5s. Let's go. Got the Streak MRM as well. Pretty good hit chance. I like it. Fire everything. Ah, oh, so close. He's gonna take a turn. Oh no. Alright, here comes my striker. Maybe he doesn't. Ah, oh, so, so close again. So we couldn't take the guy down. What's he gonna do? Going for our friendly striker. I'm very happy that I don't have to sustain that damage. Oh, <laughs> alright. Enemy striker. Striker on striker action here. We don't want to hit... The, actually, we do want to hit the right side. Let's go. Can only shoot the rockets and the pulsar. I want to keep my rockets for later. Yeah. Good. One guy down. It's 33% of the first lands. So, um, at the very least, there are not like a full four-man lands. That's good. Fire starter. Medium laser lasers. It's the 9S, so flamers and lasers. That's it. My fire starter. What are we doing with you, my friend? The Mantis is a bit of a problem. He's kind of melee capable. Okay. I'll sprint you in and see what we can do here. Alright. Got some damage in. Nothing too crazy. Yes, I could have shot my machine guns more often, but I don't want to jam them right now. I want to make use of them when I actually are able to hit stuff. The hell was that AMS? What? Is that Polly? It might be Polly. I think it's Polly. That was the Wacker, I guess? Oh, okay. Yeah, totally was the Wacker. Oh, these guys are dangerous. Getting attacked here. By the way, there we go. Terrabird gets some heat. Yeah. Okay. Now the harasser with a double missile setup. Yeah, he's just scooting. <laughs> it's fine. That is totally fine. It's the twins. What are the twins? Weird. But our striker is not in a good spot. We done? Nope. Carrier. Good hit on the fire starter. Alright, he's crit. Still, this is... Yeah, it's Polly. So, we have a double heavy vehicle flamer, rocket launcher, pirate laser AMS tagger, and a narc. Here's the Mantis. The Mantis has the claws, so we gotta be careful. We can maybe try to get them, actually. Um, making a melee mech happen? That could be a thing that might be good for us. So, we're gonna cross the boundaries here. Let's stay on the fire starter. Get him off the board. Perfect. It's really good. 
striker. Do your worst. The Mantis is very lightly armored though. It's only a 30 tonner, so we can take that thing apart relatively easily. 12 damage. Crazy. Oh wait, these were the heavy rockets? Question mark? They should be empty at some point. So, my large lasers will be shooting, but the question is, what do we try to hit? We have a decent hit chance on Polly. It's 60 something on everybody. I feel like the striker needs to go, but maybe we take that max first. I'm gonna go with highest hit chance. Let's go. Take down the Raven. Here come the SRMs. Short range missiles. Alright then. Try our best. No rockets still, but we got the Narg possibly. Acid is fine? Question mark? Yeah, why not? Shred the armor. 14 damage per missile is actually quite good. I like that. I think it was coming from the pirate SRM as well, which have a baseline of uh, 11 and then the bonus from the acid? Question mark? I don't know. But the machine guns to the bottom. That's the thing that we want to do. I need to do it in the mech lab. I will always forget. I know. I'm that guy. Whatever. Fire away. <laughs> okay. Okay then. One hit with the machine gun. So, 11 is the harasser. We still have the striker in 9. Oh, that's the end of our striker, huh? No. Not yet. Still holding on to his dear life. Good job! Thanks for that barrage. By the way, double MML5 on the harasser. So yeah, it's... it's damage. 60 damage. That was an autocannon 10. Oh boy. It is crit though, so it doesn't have the greatest accuracy. Still, he hits. Yeah. Alright, our striker down. Well, well, well. Harasser down, though. We're giving and taking here. So far, I didn't take a lot of damage yet, so that's good. Kinda want the Mantis to come a bit closer. That's good. That's bad. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So the Firestarter's gonna go for a melee attack, that's for sure. Let's stay on the Raven. We have a nice hit chance again. Nice. Double hit. Core is open. Nice. And he's moving very slowly. I am baffled by the range of the flamers. That is crazy, my man. I mean, right? Go for the kick. Absolutely. Absolutely. He has a nice close-up of the dangerous claws of the guy. Uh-oh. We missed the attack. Got some leg damage in. Uh-huh. Now we are in trouble, though. I really feel like I have to go for a side attack on this freak. Nah, let's go. Let's go and also drop the rockets. And yes, acid should be attacking first because of the armor reduction. And then we're gonna shoot everything else. Actually, the beacon first, then the acid. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Let's kill him. Yeah, he's unsteady. We got one claw down. And he's at the brink of death. It's not the greatest target. You could have gotten the crit on the Mantis, maybe. Or even the, the Raven. Okay. I think our, our whacker here is uh, our little mini-boss. A tough nut to crack, to be honest. On the Raven or on the Mantis? I think I'm gonna use my long range on the Raven, trying to get this guy down. <laughs> so close. But that's a punch out for actually a lot of interesting salvage. Nice one. That is what we needed. So, enemy's forces are diminishing. What they have is a striker and the bushwaka. Waka waka. And what I have is a lot of damage on my face. <laughs> uh. Alright. So. 
Get in there, buddy. It's pretty good on the striker. It's also pretty good on the whacker, but the striker is the easier target. Let's go. Has less armor overall. You're gonna push it. Push it real good. It's another 50. He's down to 10 armor and 20 structure on that side. Let's go, Chronic Toast. Can we take him down? Ah, we hit the wrong component. Auto cannon. Oh, he took the carrier. That's a problem. That's 30 LRMs not on our side anymore. Yeah. Ugh. I don't like it. All right, Kintaro for the win. The pulse laser, maybe. Hmm. All right. I'm shooting my last rockets. Finish him off. There we go. Might have been overkill, but I just wanted to make sure. So, we are down to regular short-range missiles. Plus, of course, our large pulse laser. That is a pretty good thing to have here. Alrighty then. We're gonna initiate with Terrorbird. Absolutely. So, Ultra, Streaks. Hmm. I like the damage output to the leg. Let's go again. Hmm. Not so good. Let's see. This guy's turn 12. <laughs> Got lucky here. What is dealing 22 damage? Is it a medium laser or something like that? Probably, right? No. No, it's not. The energy weapon is gone. I don't know. So we got some crits, but mostly on the uh, actuators here. Uh, are you gonna destroy him? Yeah, he is. Ammo explosion, pilot injured. This guy is gone. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and brace. I think I want to use my fire starter to jump around like crazy. And get into the zone like that. Exactly. The other guys can just move and brace. Because there will be another wave as soon as we enter the zone. So you just go here. Get your stability figured out again. Okay. In we go. Uh, no sprint. Please just move. I have no idea where the enemies are coming from. So I can only guess. Here? Okay, Mare Convoy Leader. Nice. So, who... Oh god, who is gonna attack us? It's a fire starter with only heavy flamer left. I'm happy about that. Primitive Rifleman. Okay. Buster Hauler. Bolt on rockets. Mm, quick sell LRM 20. And the Wasp. Very manageable, to be honest. Mm, let me reserve, because I'm in a very good defensive state, and I want them to get out of the spawn protection. I'm gonna take a look at our friends in a second. Buster Holler also seems to have a claw on the right arm or something. So we wait for one of the bigger ones to, to move. Alright. Um, pr Priority wise, I think it's the Hauler and the Rifleman that we want to take down first. But at the same time, we gotta take every everybody anyway, so let's go. What I'm saying is I feel not endangered by these guys. Therefore, I think we can we can manage. The fame with the mobility. Let's go. Alright, and we're gonna quickly take a look at our friends. We got an SRM2 tracked APC. <laughs> Alright, we got a burrow with a double pod and a machine gun. This is a like refueling uh, tank. We got a slave near with lots of SRM4s and a command van. Mm. Okay. Okay. Get rid of the fire starter. Thank you. Easy. This is why I like escort missions in general. Yes, the difficulty overall might be a little bit higher. Oh, we got hit. Um, at the same time... At the same time, um, these are coming in waves, so... We can manage. You're nasty. Go home. Okay. To the front! Ah, you can actually shoot your SRM? 
<laughs> Eight damage to the leg of the rifleman. Cool. So yeah. It is a rifleman, yes. But it is only a 50 ton rifleman and it's primitive and I don't think I want it necessarily. It's not a thing that I am excited about in terms of salvage. So the burrow? Erratic maneuver, request hot drop. No. How do I do the whole like refuel thing? Ah, I think it doesn't matter. I think it doesn't matter. Let's go. Full throttle. Full throttle. Yet again, single LRM5. Let's go for you, because you're nasty. Engaging target. Part of me wants to pick the LRM20 quick sell for mine laying, because that thing has massive scatter radius. It's really good to just lay a huge carpet. And if I am not mistaken, I already have one of those. So having a pair and just good, like, Thunder LRM, it clutters the whole battlefield and is great area denial. Jump, jump, jump around. No hit. Okay. I mean, we got the frontliners. Let's stay on the Buster Hauler for the moment. I think I'm gonna also shoot regular ammunition. So that we have a higher hit chance. Maybe hit his weak spot. We did not. Fine. What about Ultra Auto Cannons? This accuracy is really good. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, let's fire. I know I have resolve to work with, but I don't think I necessarily need it right now. We're gonna... we're gonna hold it. 22, 33. All weapons committed. Double miss. This private is really bad. And I mean, he has one gun, one missile launcher, which shoots two missiles. Uh, this is something that you would carry with infantry. Or battle armor, you know. So, Rifleman is probably double large, double medium laser or so. Let's go here. Kill him? Maybe? No, not quite. We still have our striker who might interfere. Full throttle. Full throttle. Man, the burrow is slow. I think this is gonna be our big bottleneck. Yeah, that should be it. I kinda hope that we get something out of this guy. Again, I have this whole mine laying battle plan. Not because mines are dealing an amazing amount of damage, but area denial is a thing. Enemies tend to not uh, or try to try to avoid the mines nowadays. And that is fantastic. Sensor clear. Eh, I'm gonna shoot standard. Mm -hmm. So, Rifleman. Double miss on the Hermes. We are down to 65 armor on the left side. 84 in the center. What hit us earlier? Something must have. What if we go here? Yeah. It's our best hit chance. We can also try to overheat the guy. No streak. No streak. All right. Keep shooting. Mm. Ah, part of me wants to drop Inferno missiles on the dude now. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Let's go for it. That's all right. Okay, then. Okay. So, we have the LRM still. Didn't get the crits. Should I do this? I believe we can. We can actually keep ourselves straight, right? We have to. I know it's a risky maneuver, but we only have two enemies, and I don't think they have the stability damage to knock us over. Next round, we probably just move. Alright then. Attacking the other side now. Okay. Rifleman is intimidated, and again, it's a primitive mag. His cooling is garbonzo. It's really, really bad. So he had to do a cooldown turn, which didn't even help him a lot. Here's the wasp. Medium laser. The approach is slow and steady. But we will get it done eventually. Stupid burrow. <laughs> it's too slow. Striker? Could kill here. Never mind. 
Alrighty then. Let's do it. Finally some SRMs. Yeah, not bad. Foot destroyed. And we are inspired. Good. So this is 100% a backstrike, backstrike against the Wasp. Because we could kill it with one blow and we did. And um, yeah, the Rifleman is not one of our biggest concerns since he is still hot. I just want to accelerate the gameplay a little bit. Therefore, take what you can. Give nothing back. Uh, no side attack. But hey, here we go. Got the leg. Yes. Center torso still has a lot of structure. The arm might fall off. Not even that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shall we just destroy this thing completely? I would say... Hell yeah, let's go for it. From the leg into the side torso into the center. Oh no, we got... <laughs> we got engine destruction. <laughs> oh, this is garbage. Alright then. Uh, we did it. For now... For now. So, as soon as we get into the zone, there will be another spawn of enemies. Sleipnir. Cool. I think we can just move here because the burrow is our kind of bottleneck. Alright. So, in I think two turns time, we get another wave of attack that we have to fend off. So, let's um, just move around a bit. Just whatever we can. Eh, doesn't matter. Does not matter. I try to be fast about it. Yeah, this is the problem. The distance from the convoys uh, least fast. The slowest unit <laughs> is our bottleneck here. So, Boro, come on, let's do it. You can, you can go for it. Track APC. Can we go? Oh, please. No. All right, one more round then. Unless... Unless... Just move around. It's not possible. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. We are one hex too short. All right, so now it counts. This is the turn that we are waiting for. Boro, get in there. Thank you. And now we can use the SRM guy. Here's the spawn. Let's see what's coming and where from. Down here. Good. That means we will move and brace. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Huh? Uh, Hermes. Where did you maneuver yourself? Okay, there we go. And then the fire starter is going to make a very aggressive jump into the general direction of the enemy. Here we go. Uh, you... Can we actually deviate like this? Great. So, again, we don't have to secure everybody. As long as the guy that sits in the escort zone already survives, we got it. However, we get more payout if everybody survives. What do we have here? A sax. LRM. Pegasus. Uh, light MRM carrier. And a rocket techie. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'll wait. Don't think that they can do a lot to us, so might as well. Okay. Okay, then. I'm still reserving. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is a chance that we will actually get them down in one round. I can soak a little. Damage yeah, it has 400 armor plates. Let's wait even further. Because the rocket techie has just dropped the rockets. Oh. Actually, it's not rockets. It's MRM. Alright. Alright. This is the spot where we are... Oh my god. Uh, we are a little bit endangered. Heavy small chemicals. And a large heavy chemical. Quick sell. Cool. Very nice. Very, very nice. Get the carry out of the way. Thank you. Lots of MRMs, possibly. Hmm. Something that our Kintaro could run. Or the Waka. You go here. 
I should have gone vigilant because I believe this is going to be the last round. And if they decide to go for me now, I would have taken less damage. <laughs> Point proven. Point proven. Yeah. Not that it matters too much, but again, it would have been best practice and uh, I should try to do that all the time. Lefay. Good. Last guy is the Pegasus. Pegasuses are fast. They could just outrun me. Maybe live another round. Yep. Hover tanks in Waterworld is... It's just good. So, here we go. Trying to follow up. What? Wait, if I sprint, I get better? No. I move. Yeah. Give him the narc, hopefully. And yes, vigilance is good here. All right, I'll do it. We got the narc. Perfect. What is that? 36 armor plates? Hmm. So Boro cannot do anything. SRM cannot do anything. Uh, can you do a thing? You could. The LRM, sure. Very nice, good damage. And then we have the Sleipnir. Ah, uh, it's too far. Oh, it's not. Holy hell, let's give it the, the snapshots here. Cool. Almost got him. And yes, he lived another round. Crazy, right? But that's the end of it. Good. We did it. We won. That's great. And we will most likely get some interesting salvage as well. I am still looking for vehicles, by the way. But I didn't really get a, an amazing choice. The stuff that we've gotten was like, yeah, it is technically a vehicle, but I don't want it. So I'm kind of in a tension field where I think I shouldn't be too picky anymore just to get those base filled with stuff that I can bring to the battlefield, I guess. We'll see. 765,000 sea bills. I love to see that. Yeah, a bit of repair on the Hermes. The Wacker, by the way, MVP here. Yeah, Harasser is not what we are looking for. Light Carrier is good offensively, but it's so squishy. It's a, it's a death trap. It's a driving like a... It's a coffin on wheels. Even the backline LRM guy. I don't feel like it. Pegasus is fine. It's fast. It gives us some survivability. And the heavy small chemical lasers might be actually quite good. Hmm. It is a quick cell tank. Uh, Sax is bad. The striker is fine. The strikers are just okay. It says single LRM 15 on a 5 slash 8 hex move. Decent armor. There's nothing wrong with it. Let me take a look at these chemical lasers. Uh, so for 6 tons and 3 slots, you get an 80 damage item. The range is not great. The heat is massive, even though it's a chem laser. But hey, it's 80 damage. Need ammo, lightweight, don't generate much heat. Hmm. Negative 1 accuracy. Use 2 ammo per, per shot. Hmm. I am torn. This thing has massive damage output. Heavy, small chemical lasers. That's 30 damage for half a ton, plus the ammo, of course. I don't know if I want it. LRM quick sell, or oh, we have zero, so I have it on the other playthrough, on the live, live playthrough. What am I looking for? A stack of 10 MRM, t uh, 5 MRM 10s? Could be good. A Thunderbolt 10, Beagle, Pirate ECM. I'm still looking for an engine for my Chameleon. Missile accuracy. Okay, plus two accuracy for missile weapons. Seems good on a Kintaro, for example. So, there's the ammo. There's dead fire, extended range, quick cell ammo, Typhon. Typhon is a thing that we always have to take, right? Because of the uh, extra damage to armor and the stacking. Where is it? Where is it? 
I don't I don't see it. Wait. Deals area of effect damage. Up to two area of effect damage. Buh, 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 buh. Yeah, 0.5% more damage for two turns. Does stack. So it's acid ammunition. It's rare. I'm gonna take that for sure. More acid SRM. Hmm. We can also take a look into these guys. Alright. Alright, let's take a look at the mechs first. We have a rapier, not the poly. Compact heatsink kit, ultralight gyro, pirate engine, 170 rated core. Stealth axe, heavy rocket launcher, heavy vehicle flamer, sticky ammo, warfare sweet quick cell. The pirate laser AMS is kind of interesting. Deals a good chunk of damage to enemy missiles. Can fire up to 666 times per round. It'll intercept everything. Uh, but the intercept chance is really bad. And... It generates a good amount of heat. And it has a jam chance. It's not bad. There is Narc Explosive and Sticky Bomb. Oh, the Narc Launcher is gone, but we have one on the Kintaro. Hold on, Rockets. Tagger. AoE Flamer stuff. Ah, oh, Raven. Oh, Raven, oh, Raven. Do we take you? We could. We could. This guy is running a mask. Double heat sinks. One claw. Lower melee. Upper armored. Battle computer is gone, huh? XL Gyro is the only thing that's maybe interesting. I don't feel the Mantis right now. I'm gonna disassemble. We might want to get the Claw as a like a single pick. We got a Fire Starter, which is completely uninteresting. It's just a good old 9S. I don't care about it. Mm -mm. The Rifleman, again, primitive mech, 50 ton. I'm not excited. Not at all. So what's left then? What is left? After taking a look at all of these things, the targeting computer is a thing that we could consider. Mask is worth a lot, right? 1.2 1 million, it's not bad. It's not bad. I am tempted to just pick the chemicals. Uh, also like full Waka? Another Waka? It had a Clan Double XL and a Dreadnought Gyro and a Sheath Beacon and a Slick Sweet and a Predator? I mean, this is our pick. <laughs> 100%. There's an Ultra 10 Clan. Uh, yeah, sure, okay, we found our pig. It's the Wacker. I also want a Typhon ammo, means that we probably get rid of the Raven, so we click the disassemble all, and then we're gonna go through the list once more, we have one more pig that we can take home with us. It's kind of a shame to leave the, um, the pirates, no wait, the Quicksell heavy, you know, heavy lasers, chemical lasers here. But in order to pick him, we have to also pick the ammo and everything. Pirate laser AMS generates a crazy amount of heat. It's also five... Oh, it's five tons. It'll intercept a lot. Yes, but... Yes, but no. I want to do the mine laying thing. This is a good way to lay mines. Until... No, wait. Is there clan mine laying ammo? Yeah, I think there is something like that. <sighs> it's difficult. It's really difficult. MRM10 is fine. Claw is fine. What's the combat heatsink value? Two and a half mil. I can take it and have money. Pirate engine as well, right? They are quite expensive, yeah. Missile accuracy is good. Just going through real quick again. I'm not against the sticky bomb. All the explosive through armor damage from an arc is actually quite cool. But here's what I do. Here's what I do. I believe in the mine laying shenanigans. I don't know if it's gonna come to fruition at any point, but I wanna try. So therefore, quick sell LRM20. Here we go. We have negative 3 accuracy on this thing, but that's a benefit for us if we just want to scatter the mines. Let's do it. And we're going to take this beautiful S7 Wackeroni with us. Holy crap. Are we going to for like a full Wacker squad? It, we could. It's a shame that the engine is gone. That thing was massive. Double XL clan. Holy cow. The value. 
But hey, we get an, a free Ultra Auto Cannon 10 with it as well. A free Predator with it as well. We have a Slick Sweet and the AR-14 Sheath Beacon, which is probably a fixed item, right? Because so far I have only found the 24 and the 12. What is the 14? We're gonna check it out. And we have a Dreadnought Gyro as well on the sky. So there's a lot of value sitting in a single mech, so taking it is a no-brainer. Lost Tech Stealth and Sensor Technologies. Yeah, please, give me. Thank you. Yes, I clicked it. Let's go, Yang. Do it. Do it now. All right, here we go, guys. Is this the point where we drop the Chameleon completely? Because we got a 55 tonner, which is in a better state than our Chameleon. We, I, know, I know, we need to repair it, but I think the engine is still here, right? Like the core? No, it went it went off. Ooh. Ooh, this is a shame. There was a radical proto double heatsink kit in the guy. Well, heat bank and cool shot are still here. Negative eight heat per turn, just flat. That's good. And it activates when above 50 heat. No, when taken, when when heat damage taken, that's it. Alright, heat bank. Negative 10 heat per turn, so that thing got a slight buff the last time I checked. Yeah, it's good. And the Dreadnought Gyro. So we have Bulwark, which increases our guarding capabilities. We have a 15% damage reduction, and we have a massive amount of stability on our mech. And it weighs only 50% of the standard Gyro. It is just good in all regards. Gunnery A and B is also here, as well as the Sheath Beacon 14. Let's take a look at this thing. It's an ECM shield of 6. And a jam... Reduction of 6 as well. Amazing. Increased sight and sensor distance by 15. Counter stealth and ECM by 2. So it's also a probe. And detect mines. And we can use it for an active sensor ping with a 310 meter radius. Wow. 2 turn cooldown and generates 15 heat. May reveal stealth units. I love it. This thing is massive. Also comes with fixed chameleon. I mean, what's not to love, huh? We're gonna click that repair button. <laughs> I think I'm instantly selling the chameleon. Let's go and max the armor as well. That thing is nuts. We also have so many missile hard points on the guy. Like, look at that. That's one, two, uh, three, uh, six. I mean, I could have also looked here. Six missile hard points. I'm, I'm baffled. It's pretty cool. So, the base heatsink kit is also a radical double, and we also have an emergency coolant system. Man, we need to build that bad boy. It's crazy. Absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, looking at the time right now, I don't think I can play another mission with you today. So, we're gonna leave it at 1, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time, guys. Goodbye.